2011 was the year of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2, Drive, uh, Moneyball, The Help, You Is Kind, um, Super 8, and of course, Green Lantern. Oh, I'm sorry, I, did I disappoint you? movies for 2011. Honestly, anything with Gary Oldman I will sit down and watch, but Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy is a story of, well, that's what it is. It's espionage, it's, it's, it's spy craft. It is so beautifully written and it's delicious to watch. It is, you know, you can't tell who is the actual, the real spy in it and, and Gary Oldman's character, if I'm not mistaken, he is the one trying to figure out what it really is, what is actually going on and who is the real spy. And when you find out at the end who it was, it's just like, okay, well done. Mark Strong, I think was also in that. Colin Firth was also in that. One of my favorites. Now we all know how we love Winter Soldier, but I, I have special love for the first Avenger. Um, because that really introduced us to Red Skull, it introduced us to Steve himself, it tied Norse mythology into it. So you start to see the world building build out a little bit more because you know we were heading into Avengers territory. That was good. The idea of him being a hero even before he had the serum because he didn't like bullies and even though he was getting beaten up all the time steve was still pure look at that he's making me cry after we, what we got there with uh, X-Men 3, I, I I wasn't sure how I felt about, oh, they're coming up with some new X-Men movies. They did X-Men Wolverine, um, and that was a mixed bag for me. I still watch it, but I don't need it. So when the trailers for X-Men First Class came out with a young Magneto and a young Xavier, Xavier, um, that was just so much joy. It was like, okay, this could be really interesting. Peace was never an option. Um, and I, you got to see how Magneto, Magneto, you know, you got to see how Charles was. He wasn't always this stoic, you know, professor. He had a life, he used to drink, he, you know, used to have sex, things used to happen, you know, and I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So that's my 2011s. Killing will not bring you peace. Peace was never an option.